I was so impressed by just your performance and how you demonstrated uh, Aza's feelings when she goes through the thought spirals and just her dealing with OCD and anxiety and all of the, the mental issues. What kind of went into portraying uh, her issues in, in a truthful way that really resonates with the viewer? Thank you, Tyler. I really appreciate that. Um, that means a lot to me. And I also really appreciate your background of this. That was a really fun scene to film. And Cree is very strong for holding me up there like that for what was like half a day of filming. I think what's really powerful about her just Hannah Marks and John Green's depiction of OCD and anxiety in this movie is that they don't make it seem so foreign. They really just immediately you're in her head and her psyche and you really see in the way it's shot, it kind of, it it suggests it without telling you. It sort of um, doesn't overly inform you about it. Um, so when I read the script, it was just there on the paper and I read the script before I read the book. I was a little hesitant about reading the book because I didn't want it to inform me too much. Um, I like to be a little bit naive to certain aspects of movies that I'm a part of because I think it helps. Um, but then I did read the book and that was just like an amazing cheat sheet. And I myself uh, suffer from anxiety and just like my brain working faster than my mouth. Um, and so I just really related to her in that sense. And I'd say really the only difference between her and I is that I am an extrovert. You know, I would label myself as an extrovert and she's quite the introvert. And I, um, uh, yeah, I would say that's it. You mentioned Cree having uh, her strong arms holding you up, but uh, she's so great as Daisy in this film, and you just really feel like best friends. And I, I saw on your Instagram, you two are still interacting, so it's clear you really bonded over the set. So just how was that connection between you two? Because uh, you feel like real best friends in the film. Well, she held me up physically and emotionally in many, in many ways. Um, having her there during some of the tougher scenes was just a blessing. I mean, if you get to know Cree, you'll realize that she's one of the most unique people you'll ever meet. What a smart individual who is just, she doesn't hold herself or try to hold herself like a smart person. She just is. And she's so quick and witty. She's a perfect casting for Daisy, in my opinion. She looks great with pink hair. And also we met each other a while ago. We were actually friends during our Nickelodeon days. And we somehow always stayed keep the, kept in touch because of uh, mutual friends. But this movie was sort of an opportunity, pure coincidence that we both got casted, by, mind you. This movie was our opportunity to grow closer and have a more personal connection. That's really special. And then my, my last question, a more fun one, uh, you know, in, in the film, uh, Stankonia by Outkast gets stuck in your car. If you had to get one album stuck in your car that you could only listen to, what would it be? Oh, people do. People are, were going to ask this question. I knew it. And I have to say not a very well-known one, but a well-known one in my heart and my Spotify is uh, absolutely the 2021 album by Dijon. I am a huge fan of that. I would love to work with him someday. I think he's very talented and um, Talk Down is one of my favorite songs from that album.